Hello, and welcome back to Tales Landium Gardens Trivia. Last time only two questions were wrong, and eight were right, so let's get them all right today for more points. Gabrielle, introduce those contestants for me. Tales Land, this time we have Lemmy from the video game Umjimert Lemmy, Riley M. Conklin from the new series Darren Pipster and Friends, and Dog Tanian from two of his namesake TV series, Dog Tanian and the Three Muskhounds and the Return of Dog Tanian. Here are the rules of the game. To buzz in to answer question, you must raise your hand, and upon doing so, you will hear this sound. If you get an answer right, you earn an amount of points. If you choose A, you earn 5 points. You choose B, you earn 10, for C, 15, and for D, 20. In that case, you will hear this sound. If you get a question wrong, you will hear this sound. And for this, you will lose an amount of points. And when this happens, you will hear this sound. And when someone has the most points, the winner will be chosen. And this means you will hear this sound. There is no bonus round unlike any other game show, but there is one important rule. You will have 10 seconds to answer when time runs out. The correct answer will be given to you. Now, let's get started, shall we? Tailsland, take it away. All right. Let's get started. Here's the first question. The main notes of the music are called what? Yes, Lanmi. A melody. Yes. The main notes of the music are called in melody, like the word in Sorami Mikape lyrics, the piano is playing for everyone, a light, delightful, melody. For this, you deserve 15 points. Alright, here's the next question. How high or low the sound is, is called the what? Yes, Riley. Is it the frequency? Nope. Not the frequency. For this, you lose 15 points. Lamy, do you want to give it a go? Is it the pitch? That's right. How high or low the sound is, is called the pitch. Like I make the songs at 3.15 semitones for Angela's Galaxy members to sing correctly, or else they don't get the song right. Anyways, for this, you deserve 5 points. Okay, here's the next question. The vibration of air is called what? Riley, do you want to answer this? Is it sound? Yeah! The vibration of air is called sound. Like cartoon sound effects, which is one example. Anyways, for this, you deserve 10 points. Okay, here's the next question. Three or more stat notes are called what? Yes, Dectonian. Is it a chord? You're right. Three or more stat notes are called a chord. If there were too many, the music could break the sound barrier and cause a 4.8 magnitude earthquake to shake up everything. For this, you deserve 20 points. Time with Lamy. Alright then, here's the next question. The background sounds of a song are called what? Lamy. Is it instrumentation? Nope. It is not instrumentation. If it were part of a song of background sounds, it could be very silly. For this, you lose 10 points. Bechtonian, do you want to give this one a go? Is it harmony? Good job. The background sounds of a song are called harmony. Like a barbershop quartet, or Discovery Academy of Lake Alfred's barbershop quintet, 55 Voyager Street, which are two examples. For this, you deserve 5 points. Okay, here's our next question. The speed of a beat is called the what?
Lamy, do you want to answer this one? Is it the tempo? Correct. The speed of a beat is called the tempo. For example, if a speed of a beat gets too fast, we wouldn't understand the music and words of a song that we listen to. For this, you deserve 15 points. Time with Dectonine again. All right, you know the drill. Here's the next question. The fill of the beat is displayed in what? Riley. Is it the meter? Yes. The fill of the beat is displayed in the meter. Not a parking meter or a unit of length, but a music meter. For this, you deserve 20 points, and you will get back into the positive side. Okay, now, here's the next question. A basic song structure contains what? Remember, this is in random order. Dectonian. Is it the intro, verse, bridge, chorus, and outro? That's right. A basic pop song normally has at least one intro and contains a verse, a bridge, a chorus, and an outro. These can be arranged in any way that sounds good and interesting. For this, you earn 5 points plus 25 more for getting the order right. Alright, here's the next question. The speed of a song is mostly set by the what? Lamy. Is it the rhythm? Right. The speed of a song is mostly set by the rhythm. For example, American Girl, originally by Bonnie McKee, done by Angela's Galaxy, which is a new song, is one example. For this, you deserve 10 points. Alright, here's the last question. Points are doubled for this one. How loud or soft the sound is, is determined by the what? Dectonian. Is it the beat? Nope. Not the beat. For this, you lose 30 points. Whoa, nearly. Both Riley and Lammy both buzzed in at once. Do you two want to answer? Is it the dynamics? Same vote as Riley. You both are correct. How loud or soft the sound is, is determined by the dynamics. Not the brake dynamics or mechanical dynamics, but the dynamics in music. Larry, you get 40 points while Riley got 60 points for buzzing in at the same time. Oh no! Lamy and Riley both have 75 points, meaning they're in a tiebreaker round. Both of you, here's a tiebreaker question. You have no time limit, but you can buzz in at any time. Okay, here's the question. You get 25 points if you answer right. Troublemaker Raven Fernandez made a cover of this song from Silent Partner. What is it called? Larry, you want to answer this tiebreaker question? Is it can't change his mind? Good job. Ever since Raven Fernandez got grounded by his parents, he decided to come up with a plan to pass the grounding time, make a cover of a song, and this song is Can't Change His Mind by Silent Partner. For this, you earn a bonus of 25 points. Alright, here are the trivia results. I'm General Lamy, you have 100 points. Riley and Conklin, you have 75 points. And back to me, you have 25 points. And this trivia session is going to I'm Jane Lamy. Wow, no wonder you selected me as the winner. The rapper the rapper will be so happy if he sees me on TV. Lamy, for winning first place, you deserve a cash prize of $100,000. Riley, for second place, you deserve a cash prize of $50,000. And for you, Bechtonian, for third place, a cash prize of $25,000. Well, it's a shame that 7 out of 10 questions were answered correctly. But only one contestant each got a question wrong. You know, it happens. We'll have three new contestants and we'll have the ultimate trivia session with all winners on Friday. And by three new contestants, I mean tomorrow we'll hold another trivia session with a different category and avoid a tiebreaker question. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.